Let's go over to this concealer drawer, which is just to the left of me from where I film. I actually film in front of this situation over here. But this thing needs a declutter and some organization. So I'm going to pull the drawer out and then let's go down to the floor. So it'll just be easier for me to hold the camera like that. So just a minute. So let me kind of organize this just a little bit. I have my eye primer, which I use all the time in here, uh, the Cover and Olay Simply Ageless. So I'll set that to the side. And then I have some like degreaser type powders I keep in here for easy access. And then my under eye like setting powders, like my favorite ones, except for the um, flower nose ones are, the compact one is too thick for this drawer and the loose one is also much too tall for this drawer. <laughs> so those are sitting on top of the uh, tool cabinet, but those are kind of my current favorite uh, under eye setting powders, but there's some in here too that I also like. So let me kind of just get a little organization and then we'll get to it. I've got two of the new Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Concealers, which I thought I originally really liked because um, I was mixing it with this corrector shade of the Revlon right here, which is the shade Universal Brightener. And this concealer was helping this one out, so I thought that I liked it. And the reason I hadn't used it by itself originally because it was too light, um, but by itself, I don't like this concealer at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of those guys. And then I've got some Fenty Beauty concealers in here. Um, it's just a little bit too heavy for my liking, a little bit too drying. And these do have some age on them as well. I've got the shades 110 and 140. And when I use them, I would always usually mix them together. So I'm gonna declutter those guys. And then I've got two shades of the Kosas concealer. I've got 0.5 and 1.5. And I like 0.5 for kind of the winter time and then I can mix the two in the summertime but this is one of my favorite concealers so I'll keep both of those and then um, I recently repurchased the uh, Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in C1. This is another one of my favorite concealers and it's super affordable so I'm keeping that guy. I also have two shades of the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken. I've got the Universal Brightener 002 and then the Skin Shade 003 and this is such an amazing concealer from the drugstore. It's an amazing concealer regardless of where it comes from <laughs> but it's just a really good one so I'm keeping both of these guys. I like to mix them together um, I wish the brightener shade was just a little bit lighter because I love the peachy pink undertone of it, but it is just a little bit too dark by itself. So I like to mix it in with the lighter kind of skin tone shade. So I'm keeping both of those guys. Um, Dior Forever Skin Correct. I love this one. I've got the shade 0N, which I do wish that they made a pinker, lighter version in this concealer because it's really nice. Um, I plan on getting the new Dior concealer. I think it's the backstage one uh, during the Sephora sale, so we'll see. But I'm going to hang on to this guy too because I do like it. Um, the Rose Ink I've got in the shade LX010, and I originally thought that I really liked this, but the more that I use it, it is a little bit of a thicker concealer for underneath the eye area, and it just doesn't flatter my under eye skins like I hope that it would. It's not a bad product. Um, like I said, I originally kind of thought that I liked it a lot and the more that I used it, I just, again, it's a thicker formulation. It is quite, I'd say, medium buildable coverage and I'm just really into a lighter coverage underneath the eye in general. So I think I'm gonna pass this guy on. And then I've got two shades of the Rare Beauty Concealer. I've got zero, nope, 160C and 140C. I like to use 140 in the wintertime, and then I like to mix these two concealers kind of in the summertime. But this is an amazing concealer, so I, I'll keep both of those guys. And then I've got this Naked Skin Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid, which I have gone through several of these in the past. This is a discontinued product, and I really should declutter it because it's got some age in it. This is the pink shade, if I didn't mention that already um, but I kind of like to keep it around as a color reference um, 
So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep it around for a color reference. And I have actually used this more recently and the consistency is still good. It hasn't gone bad or anything like that. But because it's discontinued, I just don't reach for it as much. Cause I'm like, well, if I use this up, then that's the end of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna hang on to it for that reason. And then I absolutely adore the new Boing Bright On Concealer from Benefit. Um, it could be a little bit brighter kind of like the Urban Decay, I think you can see right in this sh uh, shot there that the Benefit is a little bit darker, um, but it looks really pretty underneath the eyes too. I feel like that thin brightening consistency is what the Benefit one has too. It just could be a little bit lighter, but I can get away with it and it just looks really pretty underneath the eyes. So I'll keep the Benefit one as well. Um, the Oma Beauty concealers, uh, I've got the Woke one in white pearl, uh, T1 and 0.5. And this is an okay concealer, again, for underneath the eyes. I'm just not into a heavier coverage, and that's what these are. Um, they're a heavier coverage, so I'm going to, I'm just going to pass them on. I'm going to keep a couple um, heavier coverage concealers for the days when I feel like I do really need some heavier under eye coverage. Um, but I'm going to keep some of the newer ones that I got. So anyway, I'm going to pass on these Oma ones, or declutter those guys. And then I have this Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in Sunbeam. And I kind of thought this was like a, a brightening under eye product, and it's not. It's like a highlighter-y type product, skin product. It's got a wand to it. I don't know what to do with it. I've been keeping it in the concealer drawer, but... Um, you know, let's put it with some of my liquid highlighters. I'll give it a, a shot a couple more times and then if I don't like it on the skin, like just as like a highlighter-y type product, I'll probably uh, get rid of it. And then let's see here. The By Terry, I love this one. I This is the second time I've uh, gotten this product. It's the Terribly Dauntless Concealer in uh, Fresh Fair number one. Uh, again, I really like it. It needs to be lighter though. <laughs> this is the lightest shade that they make and it's it's like a good two shades too deep for underneath my eyes. But I keep it around because I do have um, this Touche Clot from YSL and this is a white. This is an amazing product to lighten up concealers that are too dark and also it's got this great fluidity to it that I really love. So I like to use this product to mix in with either heavier coverage products, concealers I'm trying to fix and make work for me, and then also I like to mix it with um, concealers that are too dark. So when I use the Terribly Dauntless one, I'll mix it in with the YSL. There's a couple others you'll see in here too that are too dark that I use the um, YSL Touche Clot in the white to uh, make them lighter and make them work for me. The LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer is a really lovely consistency. Um, still, this one here, LN3, could be lighter for my skin tone, but I love the consistency of this concealer. So another concealer product that I like to use the YSL to mix in with. Um, I've got the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Insta Fix Advanced Concealer, and this is in the shade. Wow, there's no shade on here, but I'm guessing that this is the lightest one. I actually do like this product. Um, I've used up quite a bit of it, and I think I'm going to continue to use it till it's uh, gone. Uh, may or may not repurchase, depending on what comes along in the meantime, but I'm going to hang on to it for now. And then we've got the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer, and I've got the shade WN01 Flax. Um, the tone just isn't right for me. I haven't been, I think this is the lightest shade that they make in the whole range and it's too dark. <laughs> um, the consistency feels really nice, but again, I've never been one to think that it was flattering underneath my eyes and that could be a shade thing, but this is the lightest one, like I said, so I'm going to go ahead and pass uh, this concealer on. Um, I've got these two Jeffree Star ones. Um, I liked them for a point, but Nowadays, I think that they're too drying on the eyes, so I'm going to get rid of both of those. Um, I've got this Euborean BB Crayon. This actually matches my skin tone to perfection, so when I'm looking for a, a nice, light kind of coverage underneath the eyes, something that's nourishing, uh, I don't need a ton of brightening or anything like that, I go for this one right here. It's a crayon stick. I really quite like it. And then we've got the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer, which this is actually a really new product. Um, this is L, no, Light to Cool. 
um, do not like. <laughs> I do not like the way that this makes my under eyes look. So that guy is going. I also bought the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer to use as concealer. This is LP2. Uh, the shade works out nicely for me, but it's a really full coverage. It's a heavier product again. Um, and it's a, it is a foundation, so it twists off and there's a doe foot, or you can use the pump for like a foundation. I go back and forth with decluttering this and then trying it a couple more times and stuff. But again, it's a little bit heavier for some of the nicer full coverage, thinner concealers that are out nowadays. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that one on as well. Um, the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright. This is the shade... Uh, what is the shade? This is the shade. I'm not finding the shade name on the tube there, but this is the lightest shade that they make, and you can see how much of that I've used up. I absolutely love this product. It reminds me of um, original Touche Clot uh, concealer for like brightening around the face and underneath the eyes. It's a really good affordable product. Um, when I run out of this, I can see myself for sure repurchasing this guy. Um, then I've got the Milk Makeup sunshine under eye tint and this is in the shade this is the lightest one too <laughs> i just know it is but it is also just a little bit uh deep so i do like to mix this with either a lighter concealer or again that white touche clot pen that i have but i really like the way that this feels and looks underneath the eyes i just wish that they made um, a lighter shade in this formulation so that I didn't have to mix it with anything else because it's it's a lovely product. I can get away with it uh, for the most part in the summertime and stuff, but I do wish it was a little brighter. But I'm going to hang on to it because I really like it. Um, this e.l.f. what is this? E.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. This is also the light, lightest one. I really like this. It's got a nice pink undertone and it is quite brightening. Another product that's really affordable that gives me the same vibes of the actual original Touche Clot. Um, and I think it's what, 10 bucks? Probably even cheaper than that. This is an, a lovely product. It's thin, light coverage though, so definitely not something... Um, if you're looking to cover up a lot of like heaviness or anything like that, but I really like it So I'm gonna hang on to that guy and then we've got the cover FX power play concealer in P light one camera focus uh, P light one right there. This is a favorite of mine um, I'm going to declutter this one and put it on my list There's a couple that I'm going to declutter and just like kind of right down for the time being because I love it a lot and I would like to repurchase it at some point so but for now I'm going to go ahead and declutter that guy and then we've got the Tom Ford Shade in Illuminate concealer in 0C0 Bare and the shade is this is this is 0C0 so <laughs> it's supposed to be a really light cool shade this is like a light to medium shade range it's, it's very very dark um for the lightest like cool tone shade um but I've been mixing it with lighter concealers, trying to make it work because this is not a cheap product. And I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the formulation. I think it makes the under eyes look very unflattering and it's just not for me. So this one pains me because it's expensive. But she, you're going to hit the road there, Jack, or should I say Tom? <laughs> and then I, uh, I've got the Dior Flash Luminizer. And this is in 001. This is another pink toned kind of Touche Clot style product. I love this. It's got a, a pen. You push up the product and it has a little like brush on the end. This is great. It matches my skin tone lovely. And I've, I want to say this is probably almost gone because um, I do use it quite a bit. This is a great one for underneath the eyes as well. It's a light coverage too, so not super heavy, um, but it's a good one. So I'm going to hang on to that guy. Um, some underrated products from Sephora. These are great. Very thin, but they do the job. The Bright Future Gel Serums. Um, I've got the shade Brightness and Meringue 02. So 03 and 02. I really like both of these products. They're very thin. They're not super hydrating, so I kind of stick to them more in the summertime um, than anything. But I'm going to hang on to these guys. And then I've got the Lancome Tawny Doll Ultra All Over Concealer. And this is a large doe foot. I've got 090. Same thing with this one. It's a little bit heavier coverage. And I have to work harder than I want to <laughs> to blend this out. Um, so I'm going to pass this guy on. I'm going to pass it on. It's not that old, but we're, we're not having it here. Um, I've also got this Joa Perfect Complexion Eye Serum Concealer. This is also the lightest shade that they had available. Lovely pink tone. Another really nice thin product, but this one has like a light to medium coverage. Nice, nice coverage for underneath the eyes. Uh, I got this one more recently at CVS and I really like it, so I'll hang on to that guy. 
And then I've got these Ilia concealers, which I originally thought it was just the shade that was off that maybe that's why I wasn't liking it as much because I really wanted to love this product, kind of like I like the Kosas because this is a like all natural type of brand and around the eyes for hydrating and stuff like that. But again, I have to work harder at blending these out than I want to. And compared to some other concealers, they're, they're not as flattering underneath the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and pass these on. I've got the shades um, Suma and Mallow. Mallow's the lighter one and Suma is the darker one. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on the True Skin Serum Concealer. I love the like labeling of a serum concealer. Just putting a serum concealer underneath the eyes makes me happy. Unfortunately, these ones just didn't look that flattering. <laughs> so those are going to go. I also have two shades of the NYX uh, Bear With Me Serum Concealers. These are amazing. Absolutely amazing product from the drugstore. Very affordable. But whether they were from the drugstore or not, they perform like a really high-end product. If, if these costed more than they do... I'd still buy them because <laughs> they're really, really nice. So I've got the shades um, Light and Fair. I can get away with just using Fair in the wintertime, but I'll probably mix the two shades together in the summertime. Um, the light shade or the lightest shade that they make, which is that zero or the fair one, the zero one, I had to get that off the NYX website. So a lot of places that sell this product don't actually carry that zero one shade, but there is a lighter shade <laughs> than the uh, light. So I'm going to keep those guys. Then there's the Winky Lux Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in Fair. This has got a great pink tone. It's a light, buildable coverage. Looks super pretty underneath the eyes. Going to hang on to that guy. And then I've got these two Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealers. I like these for a light um, feel underneath the eyes with a, a heavier coverage. And then also this peachier tone, which is the 1C shade. The other one is 0.5 uh, C, no, uh, 0.5N is the lighter one. And then this uh, peachy shade is 1C. Um... I like to mix these two shades together for the most part because this shade by itself is too dark. But I like this for a thin, fuller coverage for around the eyes without making it like separate the look from of like the heavier coverage underneath my eyes with my foundation, which some of those heavier coverage concealers do and it's just not that cute. <laughs> but for right now, I'm going to hang on to these guys. And then I've got this Zoeva Concealer in Accurate. Um, this is a light to medium buildable coverage. It's a nice concealer, but I wish it was more pink tone, and I believe this is the lightest one that they make, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the, that one on. And then we've got the L'Oreal True Match Corrector um, 0.5 Hyaluronic Acid. So, I, this is like a barely there to light, not buildable type of a coverage. C1 to 2 Pale, um, just very, very hardly there if you're into like no makeup makeup you might really like this um I liked it when I had used it but I did notice and it's probably that hyaluronic acid I typically have got a drier climate um than anything so it did end up drying feel, making my under eyes feel a little bit drier than I would have liked and it, I wish for more coverage than barely there <laughs> But I still like a light coverage, and this is just a little less than light. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that guy on as well. And then I've also got these two Fenty Bright Fix Eye Brighteners. I've got two shades. The sticker on this one fell off. It's the kind of the pinky toned one, and then there's the Bright Fix in Rose Quartz 01. So I don't know what shade this is, but I know it's got like a pinky peach tinge to it. I don't think that these blend out that nice underneath the eyes, to be honest. Typically when I use them, I would mix them with something. Um, I think I'm going to hang on to just this one shade in Rose Quartz 01 because it's really, really light. And it's got a pink tone to it. So this one here, um, I'm going to mix in with some deeper concealers to help lighten them up and also give them a more pink undertone. But I'm going to pass on the... The unknown here, which I don't know what shade that is, so I'll just keep the one. And then I also have this Wet n Wild Fair Beige 834 concealer. This is a really nice concealer. I'd say it's a light to medium buildable coverage, and it looks really nice underneath the eyes. Um, but I wish I had a little bit more hydration. Um, the older I get, the even more dry my already dry <laughs> under eyes get. It's not a dry ying product, but I have really dry under eyes, so I need something with some more hydration. So I'm going to pass that guy on. And then I also have this Clay de Poe Concealer SPF 25. Um, I like to use this guy here. It is 
too dark for me and it's the lightest shade that they make. I know they recently reformulated this, but I don't see any extension really to the shade range. I was hoping they, they would come out with a lighter shade. I can't get the cap off one-handed. Oh wait, did it come off there? Ooh, come on, oh there we go. So I've used up quite a bit of it. I like to use this in the summertime. I'll mix it in with, again, something that's a little bit lighter to lighten it up. But I like that it has SPF 25 and it's got a good coverage. And if I want even more coverage underneath the eyes and to brighten it up, I actually like to mix it with the CoverGirl and Olay in 200 Fair Ivory, which is my eye primer. But this is also a really nice light under eye concealer as well with SPF 28. So I can amp up the coverage while still getting that SPF underneath the eyes in the summertime by mixing it with the Clay de Peau. And then, then again, I, I like it as eye primer. So I'm going to hang on to Clay de Peau for now too. I've also got two shades of the Monica Blender Blender Cover Beauty. Um, I've got number one, Eins, and number two, Zwei. Um, I kind of do wish that there was a bit brighter shade than Eins, which I should probably check her website because, again, she expanded the shade range, and maybe there is a, like a 0.5 out there. But this has got Arnica in it and some really good hydrating ingredients, so I love the feeling of this underneath the eyes for a higher coverage product. I would say it's a medium buildable type of a coverage, and, again, with that comfort underneath the eyes, and those great ingredients so I'm going to hang on to both of those uh, products and then I've got the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape uh, Concealer this is the newest kind of one that they did in the Shape Tape range um, and I'm going back and forth I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer number two and then I've got both of these uh, Good Apple concealers from KBD Vegan Beauty, these new ones. I've got the shades Light 109 and Light 107. So all of these are like a, a thicker kind of coverage or a heavier, like a medium to full type of a coverage for underneath the eyes, which again, I'm not as crazy about, but there are times when I do wish for them. So I don't, I just don't feel like I need all of them. Um, I'm going to keep the KVD because I really like that formulation. It's high coverage, but it's a really thin formulation. Um, I think I'm going to just, I think I'm going to pass on both the Tarte Double Duty. Or should I just keep one shade? I've got 12B Fair Beige and I've got Light 20B. Oh, what to do, what to do. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm gonna actually get pass on the Anastasia one. It's pretty new. It just feels a little bit drier um, for a full coverage. So I'm gonna pass this guy on. It is a good one for full coverage. Um, maybe in the summertime I would probably really like it, but the shade that I have is quite light. It's the shade number two. I'm gonna pass that guy on. It's That's what it is. And then we also have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer. This concealer is amazing absolutely amazing i like to mix them for the most part and then i can get away with using the shade 11 by itself which is the lighter of the two i've got shades uh 11 and 20. this is a really really good concealer so I'm going to hang on to those guys as well put them over here and then let me go ahead and re-angle this um kind of for you guys so i'm actually going to pull these out and wipe this down before i put these back i like to keep these little silica gels in there just in case there's any moisture. I like to throw these when they come in packages and stuff. Um, I like to throw them in, in a lot of my makeup drawers. And then I have this little seashell that I got on the beach at Laguna Beach. So he hangs out in there too. But let's clean this out a bit. It's funny because this drawer is the closest to me when I kind of get ready. So it catches a lot of powder and stuff like that because I always leave it open. <laughs> but let's go ahead and put um, these products back here. So we've got our Makeup Forever. I like to kind of um, put the tallest kind of stick concealers together like this here.
when I was kind of organizing, I forgot these products. I've got this M Cosmetics, which I'm yet to use as a foundation, but I was using it for a concealer for a while because it has SPF 50 in it, and I do use it like that. Um, it's really thin, light kind of coverage. Um, it's okay. I'm not absolutely crazy about it, but I like it with that SPF 50, so I use it in the summertime, and this is the shade. What is the shade? Cloud Dream Fair Light. It's, I wish I had more pink for underneath the eyes, but I'm going to hang on to that guy. We'll put her back in the corner over there. And then the correctors that I have are the Charlotte Tilbury Number no. 1 Fair, which I like as well. Um, typically, I use these correctors to mix in with concealers to make them more peachy and pink. The Becca um, Light to Medium, which is the lightest one that they do. I go back and forth with really liking this and then just thinking it's okay, but I'll hang on to it for right now. And then this is a corrector from, I think it says Jillian Tuttle on here. This came from Camera Ready Cosmetics. This is the special highlight. Really like this. I can use this by itself underneath the eyes and it's very brightening and pretty. So I'm going to hang on to that one. And then I've got a Bobbi Brown corrector in Porcelain Bisque, which is also a pink undertone that I can add more coverage and pinkness to um, concealers, so I'll hang on to that guy too. I just like to kind of put them in the back there. I've got two brow bone highlight shades that I like to keep in here that are kind of, this Clinique one is Satin Matte and Vanilla Pop, and then the uh, Brulee from Wet n Wild. They're just easy access because a lot of palettes don't have shades like that in them. And then I've got an e.l.f. Sheer under eye setting powder, and then this Stellar Beauty one I, I'm trying to use up just to kind of take down shine. And then the Essence All About Matte, you know how I feel about that one. And then funny enough, the Brighten Up Banana Powder from Essence is holding up the tripod on the camera because it's trying to tip over from the carpet. <laughs> but we'll put those uh, powders back here as well. I pulled out this Besame powder as well. It's a pressed kind of brightening powder more recently because I was going to try it underneath the eyes, but I haven't done it yet, but I want to keep that in there so that I don't forget to try that out. And then this little Fenty guy right there. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Okay, um, stick, stick. Mm -hmm. Stick. Count them up real quick because that's how people do it in declutter videos, right? They want to know how many they kept and how many they decluttered. <laughs> so getting rid of 23 and I'm keeping 42 and then we'll go ahead and put the drawer back and show you what she looks like. And then too, I just want to make a quick note. Um, I declutter all the time. I usually don't have the patience to film it, but I figured this was a kind of more condensed category where I can make it happen. <laughs> so there is the drawer all done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.